What's going on, my friends? I'm Morgan Gardner, and welcome to the Saturday edition of Quick Pitch, presented by Blue Emu. DNAs are up to a baker's dozen as they take this one, despite the inclement weather at Camden Yards. And talk about swinging, Matt Olson has been raking over the course of this win streak, with the Major League best six home runs over that span. Now let's head to San Francisco for the more our QP trivia. Who's the only player to appear in an All-Star game with both the Cardinals and the Reds? Go ahead, think about it. We'll have the answer and more highlights following the break. Well, before the break, we asked you who is the only player to appear in an All-Star game for both the Cardinals and the Reds? The answer? Scott Rowland, who suited up for the Midsummer Classic for the Cards in 03 and 04 and in 2010 and 2011 for the Reds. Now let's get you the best to match Jacob deGrom's dominant performance from Friday. And while he didn't rack up 15 punches, he did allow just one run over six innings of work on the mound while picking up an RBI knock at the dish, joining deGrom and three other hurlers with such efforts this season. Tigers in a pitcher's duel at Comerica Park as Brady Singer continued his dominance over Detroit. He's now a perfect 3-0 with a sub-2 ERA and four career starts against them. Dude, and in one of the least surprising things this season, Fernando Tatis Jr. stole the show again with two more homers on Saturday. He joined baseball's all-time home run king, Barry Bonds, as the only visiting players with consecutive multi-homer efforts at Dodger Stadium. Now to Wrigley for the Brew Crew and the Cubs. LG Red Alert, we want to give a shout out to Adrienne Robertson, who was named the first female PA announcer in Baltimore Orioles history. She joins the club after spending the last 17 years as the public address announcer for their double A affiliate Bay Sox in Bowie, Maryland, making her the fourth current female PA announcer in Major League Baseball. And you know, you're having a good weekend when Billie Jean King gives you a shout out on Twitter. And side note, the Legends Twitter game is like absolute fire. Well, that does it for this edition of Quick Pitch. For our great crew here at MLB Network, I'm Lauren Gardner. We'll see you next time.